it's David from Site3D here, and I'm going to quickly show you how to put building setting out tables on Site3D. So in this project, I already have a load of buildings and garages that are already in the project, and I want to create a coordinate table for each of the external corner levels that I've already got annotated on the drawing. The way we do this is by going to our building pad tools and clicking on the add table. Click this one and then I can position that table or grid of tables just off to the side. And this is a dynamic set of tables. So each one has the template name and A, B, C, D, or as many as the corner coordinates for this particular type in there. And then we have our coordinates for those. Uh, those A, B, C, D labels relate to the annotations that are now shown on the drawing. We have A, B, C, D. The levels have changed to uh, these labels here. We can change how it's drawing these by going to the properties. And we can uh, either go back to the actual levels where we can see the corner levels on the drawing, but we can keep the labels on if we want to. And we can change whether it's showing as A, B, C, D or as a number. So one, two, three, four. And that's per insert. Or we can just have it as a sequential set of numbers, one for each individual corner corner, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, as you just go through the whole site. So now we have all that information on here, but we still need to relate each one of these smaller tables to a particular building on the drawing. And we do that by assigning it a plot number. We have our plot renumber tool up here, where we can have a prefix and a starting number. And if we click once, it now changes or assigns that plot number to that particular building, and then it moves the number onto the next one. And we can just sequentially click through our entire site like this. And as I do this, you can see that the table is updating as I go. So it's a dynamic table, always showing you the information as you might need it. If I just very quickly put a few more of these on, you'll see exactly why. So now we have our table with the plot number and the template name on here. And you can have multiple different types of numbers. So here we have the plot one, plot two, plot three, but I now want to do the garages and we can go in to do this by just changing the prefix here and resetting the start number back to one. And I can then just click first garage, second garage, third garage, and just go sequentially through these as well. And then now we have a set of garages on here and then a set of plot numbers on here. So we have a dynamic setting out table that shows a corner coordinate for each of the levels on the plan here. Thanks for watching.